It's a natural law to reap what you sow. If you know that will be wrong if you planted corn and a pumpkin came up, you cannot be fleshly and still think you're going to be spiritual. Because what you plant is what's going to come up. And that's what's wrong with the church. We plant all kind of things, but we're trying to reap something else. We're trying to plant to our flesh and reap the promise of God. Because man don't want to do what you said. He wants the perfect sacrifice. He asked you to present your body a living sacrifice, not to try to change his word. If I planted corn, I want corn to come up. If I'm sowing to my flesh, I ought to look for my flesh to come up. If I sow to the spirit, it ought to be spirit. What's your harvest? What's your harvest? In this morning, in here this morning, what is your harvest? God told you to stand your ground and you're still trying to be fleshly. You plant to your flesh, you reap from your flesh. I'm so mad with the devil because he playing y'all like a yo-yo. He throwing you down and walking you on the floor because you hearing the words that say be spiritual, but you sowing to your flesh. And all you gonna get is flesh. Ignoring God's word, doing how you want to do. I heard a song this, this, this week. It said, your love. He touched me. He changed me. He healed me. He totally freed me from sin. Every shackle was broken. Huh? No, I can live. I've been restored. I've been renewed. I come alive because of you. Unconditional love. I've been saved, set free because of your love, by your blood. I got freedom in my house because of your love. And we still trying to serve everything. We trying to serve mama. We trying to serve daddy. We trying to serve girlfriend. We trying to serve everybody but God. And you saw into your flesh. I'm so mad with him. He doing you all kind of way. And you know what God expected of you. I'm talking about cornerstone. Today, your message is today. Cornerstone, keep doing what you're doing. Be not deceived. God is not more. Whatsoever man saw it, that's what he going to read. And you can have your seat. Get the weight off your feet. Everybody hearing what God's saying. Everybody getting God truth. But we showing to the wrong thing. Cornerstone, keep on doing what you're doing. He preached that message, Cornerstone, keep doing what you're doing. And then he preached, whatsoever you saw, that's what you read. And now he had me to come back, walk into the bathroom, two something in the morning, and he said, this is what I want you to preach. Cornerstone, tell him, keep on doing what you're doing because you, have, you are doing what I told you. You are preaching what I want. You don't need to change your message for nobody because who's talking to you is sowing to their flesh. Because if they were spiritual, they wouldn't question your word. Said, so be not deceived. God is not more. Whatsoever man saw it, that's what he reaped. You can't change God's word. He told you last week, stand your ground. And now we, let, we want people to change God's word. Here you is in bunk, and then you're trying to tell a college a professor what to do. How you going to be in the first grade and tell a college professor what to do? You don't even know how to spell your name. Cornerstone, keep on doing what you're doing. Sin is a mirage that Satan offers every way of soul, but it will never satisfy their soul. It's a mirage. You think it looked right. You think it's right. But because you're not spirit, you see anything. It said cornerstone. It's talking to us this morning. This ain't for the YouTube. This ain't for nobody. This for us. Because we keep coming to him and we taking God apostle for granted. God sent me to put the church back in order. He ain't come, he ain't come for you to put me in order. I heard a preacher say the other day, look at him. Y'all lay member, stop telling y'all leader what to do. God will never use you to tell me what to do. My calling is greater 
than my personal feeling. feeling. Galatians 6 and 7. Let me read that sixth verse. He said, let him that is taught in words communicate unto him that teach in all good things. All right, all right, all they sound like they're talking about me right there. When you're doing what the word says, you can put yourself anywhere in the word. It's when you ain't doing it. Listen to what he said. He said, be not deceived. Don't be fooled. Don't be wavered. Don't be turned. Don't be shaken the wrong way. He said, be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever man saw it, if you sow corn, corn should come up. If you sow into your spirit, the spirit man should come up. If you sow into your flesh, your flesh going to come up. You know him. You walk with him all your life. You know when it's your flesh. And then everybody want to lie. God is talking to me. Well, he ain't told you about yourself. He said, be not deceived. God is not more. It said, keep on doing what you're doing. What do the word keep me in Pastor Simmons? Retain, reserve, to have or continue to have in one possession. To keep me to have or to hold onto something. Have or to retain possession. You hear that? Keep. So when it said, keep on doing what you're doing, he said, keep on sinning. Keep on sowing to your flesh. Keep on lying. Keep on with your issue. All right. Some of us got so many issues, we so selfish, that's why we so like to be alone, because we know our life ain't right. Amen. You want to keep secrets and keep secrets. Well, I don't want nobody to be in my business. It's that person. We will reap what we sow. It said, be, be not the seed. God is not more. Right. It said, if you plan to Please your own desire, so do your flesh. If you plan to please your own self, so do your flesh. And y'all know what most of us in here, most of us saw in our flesh. Ain't no use to plan. That's why God sent this message again. Cornerstone. Keep on doing what you're doing. Keep on ignoring what your word says. Keep on in what you How could you go against the word of God and that's all you get? And then you want somebody to tell you some sweet nothing. But you won't go with the word said. Neither God said, he said, keep on doing. Look at the word doing. The act of making something happen through your own act of doing. Ain't got nothing to do with God. It's your own act. That's what you sow. That's what you move off of. That is flesh. It's flesh. And that is spirit is spirit. But God told me to tell you this morning, Cornerstone of Bunner Life Church, you keep on doing what you're doing. It ain't on me. Ain't no blood on my hand. You're going to have to shed your own blood. Keep on doing. All y'all lying and trickery, lying about your tie, about your, your tie lying about where you at, lying where you, where you been. You know what you're doing. And all life is going to have their part in the lake of fire. In Mark, in Michael 6 and 3, you ain't got to turn down. He said, oh, my people. God was talking to them in Michael. He said, oh, my people, where have, what have I done to thee? What have God done to you? Let me ask that question. What have I done to you that y'all won't hear me? What have I done to y'all? Where have I wearied y'all? Huh? Y'all got all access to me. I, t I got the mind of Christ. That's why people don't understand. You got to listen to the scripture. He said, let that mind be in you. This is what he said. He said, oh, my people, what have I done unto thee? Wherein have I wearied thee? Testify against me. Don't lie on me. Don't lie on me. Testify against me. That's what Cornerstone do. Every time people get ready to do what they want to, they lie on me. God said, I'm tired of that. And they don't believe the scripture. They believe some of the scripture. He said, touch not my anointing. Do my prophet no harm. I ain't putting that just on me, but I am anointed. And we play. He said, be not deceived. God is not more. For whatsoever man saw it, that shall he reap. You can't change that. You can't change that. You said to me just then, if you sold corn, you wouldn't want a pumpkin. Because then you're going to check the bag. Did I really get corn? Yeah, it's that corn. 
Dog, they must have packed the wrong thing. You want to go back to the company because you don't sow the whole form of, of, of corn, but you got pumpkin, and you're not a pumpkin seller. Here y'all talking about y'all love God and sow into your flesh, and flesh come up. Y'all don't know the difference because that's what all you've been getting anyway. That's your occupation. What's flesh? So you really don't know the difference. And God is trying to tell her that. He come back in Romans 8 and 1. He said, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Now you hear what that said? There is condemnation when you don't walk in the spirit. So if you in your flesh, if you saw into your flesh, it's condemnation for you. Read the scripture. Don't play with it. It said it right there. You, unless you just ain't got the spirit. Huh? Look what it said. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. Let's don't get to, get to the flesh. Is you in Christ Jesus? Because it said therefore if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. You can't be new if you still are going against the word of God. You can't be new if you still sow into your flesh. And I know one thing that people do. When the word whoop their tail, they want to stick their tail up in their butt and go. Because why? You whooping that flesh. And the flesh can't stand a whooping. Flesh can't stand a whoop. This is what it says. It says, keep on doing what you're doing. But look what doing said. The act of making someone something happen through your own act of doing. Cornerstone, keep on doing what you're doing. All y'all that's sitting here and rebellious to the word of God, the thing that you know to do, huh? It said, when a person know a right to do it, they don't do it. It is sin. So you still, you still in there. It don't matter. God know you hearing the word. That's why I'm glad I've been touched, chained, healed, totally free from sin, every shackle broken, knowing that I can live. I know I can. I don't care what nobody said. People don't want the truth. That's why they don't want me to preach nowhere. That's why they don't want me to preach nothing. Because they know one thing, I'm telling the truth. Let me help. Can I give y'all a little truth? Ephesians 5, 29 says, For no man has ever yet hated his own flesh. You ain't going to hurt your own flesh. You're going to sit there and find a reason to say, He wrong, he wrong. I don't like this, I don't like that. No, you don't like that because I'm whooping your flesh. You nerves him, but I'm whooping him. And every time you come in there, I just told the men the other day in that room over there, I said, one thing about Cornerstone, this is the wrong place to come if you ain't sin. It's the wrong place. You'll never get comfortable. Your flesh always getting a beating. Always. The spirit person can come in here and say, go ahead, pastor. Go ahead, pastor. Preach that. Preach hell about them flesh to the person. Preach hell about them sinners. Oh, go ahead, apostle. Preach to them. The rest of us is sin something. Every time I come to church, all he preached about is sin. Sin ain't gonna keep you out. I'm trying to keep you from planting that thing. He said, be not to see God in my, not more. He said, if you plan to please your own desire, so do your fear, you'll reap a crop of sorrow and evil. All you want to do you want to do what the world say, what everybody say. You want to know what the people you talk to are hearing from, you don't even know they're from God. You just saw them what they say. Everything they say, you believe. But the truth that come out of that, you find a way to tag that thing. Say, I just, uh, I can't, you can't do nothing. I ain't got no time for myself. Every time you look around, they got prayer. Prayer the most important thing, and you don't want to go. But I ain't heard nobody that I was in the world with when they were saying party and they were working. We worked all night long. Ain't nobody said nothing about that. But come to God, you said prayer too much. Bible study too much. Sunday school too much. It's taking too much more time. But I ain't heard none of y'all say y'all job too much. Your job taking eight hours. He said, for no man ever yet hated he ain't said nobody else flesh. his own so you'll hate mine one reason you'll hate mine cause I'm in the spirit 
Because I'm going to convict you every time. Because every time you look at my flesh, you ain't going to hate it. Because I'm telling you, you get out of yours. You can't live that way. And then want to be anointed. Want to talk to somebody about the scripture. First of all, you need to whoop the scripture on your own little nasty self. Here you trying to witness to somebody. And you just as waver. You win every win and doctrine. You go with it. A spiritual man stay with what the spirit said. He don't deviate what he want to hear. Many times I come in there and be preaching. And, and, and I, I can't wear the word. It's that for no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but he nourished. You know how you got a new little baby? Like she holding that baby right there, she nourished that baby, just rocking, the, rocking that baby seat. Like, come on, Boba. You just so sweet. Auntie love you. Go on. Don't worry about You ain't got nothing in the world to worry about. I get, Mom, I got you. Auntie got you. You tell that Flair, come on, Flair. Daddy love you. You want some sex? Oh, yeah, daddy give it to you. You want to smoke some dope? Daddy give it to you. I love you. You want to hate on somebody? Hate on them. It's all right. You nerd that flesh. You get mad with a pastor? Go on, get mad with a pastor. He a man just like you. He don't know no more than you do. There's some other preacher around here too. Love on him. You know, but they, they, they flesh. But you hate my flesh. Because I hate yours. We ain't got no problem. You, I, I don't like you and you don't like me. I don't like nobody that's against God. Nobody. It don't matter. It could be my mama. I don't like my mama and she against God. I ain't making no exception. He told me to stand my ground. He charged me. We compromise because of mama, daddy, sister, brother. I won't care. I draw the line. I'm mad with him, y'all. And I'm mad with y'all his children. I'm mad with all y'all that going against what God said in him. I'm mad with you. He said, for no man has ever yet hated his own flesh, but he nourished you and cherished you, even as the Lord, the church. He treats that flesh just like God treats the church. He'll die for it. That's why so many of them get killed out there. They trying to rob somebody for some dope because that flesh won't. Or they trying to sell dope and they get killed because somebody wants the dope. Well, you know, everybody tell me I go to church too much. And then you don't learn enough, they don't even know God. And you still follow him. You know you're a fool. He said, be not to see. God is not mocked. For whatsoever man saw it, that shall he reap. He said, but he that saw it to his flesh, Shall of the flesh reap corruption. And I looked up the word corruption, it's de destruction. And then all you know, all you're doing is destructing yourself. That's all you're doing. And, and, and the devil laughing at you because he gave you a mirage. You ain't got to do all they say. Interpret it for yourself. I had a, pre I had a, a member here tell me, God don't just talk to you. And you know what happened? He just fulfilling the scripture with Miriam uh -oh. and Aaron. Uh -oh. They said, do y'all think God just talked to Moses? And God put leprosy over him. But I know y'all don't think y'all can get leprosy. But leprosy can be AIDS. It can be cancer. It, it can be something that you don't think is, is, you can get. But you put your mouth on something you ought not to put your mouth on. He said, he said, for he that soared to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. That means you are going to reap destruction. And you don't even see it because he don't get you a mirage. It's a brand new building over there. Huh? It, it, it's, it got your name on it. Let me just read this here. This is where I'm led. God just leads me right there. Could I just throw this in there right there? Revelation 9 and 6. It said, In those days shall man seek death and shall not find it, and shall desire to die, and death shall flee from them. That's all these flesh of people. You're going to want to die because you're going to be on dead so many things wrong. And you're going to be sick on your bed, sick, walk around inflicted. And you're going to want to die and death going to flee from you. And all of us that's coming in, hearing the truth, and we ain't acting out none of it. 
Know why? Because you've been sown to your flesh. And your flesh want what it want. It want what it want, y'all. It want what it want. This is what Proverbs 16 and 18 said. Pride go before destruction. Here you have got pride. Rather than being right and know that you are right wrong and say that you're wrong, you let pride get in the way. It said pride. Go before the scrubs and a halted spirit before a fall. You ain't got long before you fall. He said, look at He said, but he that soared to the flesh shall let the flesh reap corruption. But he that soared to the spirit shall let the spirit reap life everlasting. Huh? He said, that's what you're going to reap by sowing to the spirit. Life everlasting. Y'all hear that? Life everlasting. That's what I said. God, you awesome. He said, life everlasting. He said in Romans 8 and 8, he said, so he, so then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. And here, a fleshly person telling me they got faith. Yeah, both spell with an L, but flesh and spirit, uh, flesh and, 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 and faith is two different things. You can't have faith and then get in your, in your flesh. You can't, it, you can't even walk in there. That's a word that we use because the Bible said all you got to have is the faith of a mustard seed. And that's why everybody said they got faith because it ain't that big. But if your faith that little, your confidence is too. And if your confidence that little, your trust is too. And if your confidence that little, you can't have faith if you don't believe. If you don't believe the word, how you got faith? Everybody trying to tell me they got faith, but they don't believe the word. How do you switch the word? Cornerstone. Keep on doing what you're doing. Because Pastor Simma ain't going to hell for you. Keep on doing what you're doing. Be not deceived. God is not mocked for whatsoever man saw it, that what he reap. And once your ears are heard, he said, the day that you hear my voice, hard not your heart. So it don't matter. You leave the church, go from the church, don't come back to the church. You still going to be rightly judged. Now put your faith on that. He said, and let us not be weary and well done, doing. God, I ain't weary. I've been doing well. I've been doing what you told me. Well done. I, I'm not weary in what I've been doing. Every time me and my wife be talking now, she said, baby, look, you don't came too far on where God got you at. It's too late in the game to switch out and change the left hand when I've been shooting right pretty good. I've been scoring pretty good right hand. Ain't no use me trying to prove to you I can shoot left. Stop the right. Stop the Bible. Stop the Bible. If I stay with the Bible, ain't nothing nobody can say. Because be not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever man saw it, that's what he reaped. What you going to sow and what you sow into your flesh. And when you go against the word, you ain't going against me. You going against God. And you going to answer for going against God. You listen to what he said. He's talking to us. He said, look. He said, if you plan to please your own desire, sow to your flesh. You will reap a crop of sorrow and evil. If you plan to please God, you will reap joy and everlasting life. What kind of seed are you sowing in the soil of your life? Because I know what I'm sowing. I had people leave the church because I said I was going to heaven. And look at him. Sinners know that they are sinners. Hypocrite pretend they're not. See, sinners know they're sinners. But when y'all come in here and sit down, y'all pretend y'all not. If you're in your flesh, you're a sinner. Ain't no man gonna get saved and then all of a sudden chain like he ain't saved. Return back to his vomit. He said, let us not be weary and well-doing. For in due season, Apostle Simmer. Huh? For in due season, you shall reap. If you faint not, God, I ain't faint. I ain't faint. If you tell me to say it, God is saying. And that's what people say. He too, he too, he too hard. He got an anger problem. No, I got a love God problem. I got a love that he told me. Stand your ground, son. He said, carry on. I said, yes, sir. See, y'all don't want to carry on because y'all get bothered when nobody like you for living right. 
when they start talking about your holy and holy, you know what I tell them? I carry on to what you say. I'm holy than die. I'm saying sanctify Holy Ghost field. And it's not coming out of my mouth. It come out of my wall. It come out of my talk. It come out when I go to the bathroom. I'm still the same person sitting on the commode. I'm just the same sitting on the commode. Are you saying when you sit down on the commode? Are you saying when you go to work? Get around certain people. You put up God. Shoot, I, I don't want nobody to know I'm saying. Cornerstone. God said, keep on doing what you're doing. Be not to see. He ain't more. For whatsoever man saw it, that's what he reaped. Whatever y'all saw it to, it's going to be what you reap. Flesh is flesh and spirit is spirit. You can't expect to get no spirit out of your flesh. I'm talking to Cornerstone. For whatsoever man saw it, that shall he reap. Let me tell you where you're at too. Proverbs 16, 25 said, there's a way that seemed right unto y'all flesh. But the end of that way is still death. I ain't got to tell you the ways of sin, death. I can tell you what you think you're doing is right. But the end of that way is death. Cornerstone, keep on doing what you're doing. Be not the seed. God is not more. Everything y'all been sowing, you're going to reap. God know you don't heard the word. And then y'all want to come in here. Christians don't tell lies. They just did what y'all just saying. He the perfect sacrifice. Y'all saying y'all lie. He the perfect sacrifice, but you won't sacrifice yourself. The song sounds good. You thought enough to die for me. You know that 2,000 years ago. When you gonna die? Y'all ain't saying nothing. When y'all just singing that, don't act like I missed the song up. Christians don't tell a lie. They just go to church to sing them. He said, look here. He come back in the 10th verse of Galatians 6 and 10. He said, as we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto the all men. Not some men. Not just who you like. Huh? Keep on doing what you're doing. Huh? My calling is greater than my personal feeling. What y'all want me to change to make y'all feel good? My calling is greater than my personal feeling. Because that's all you is. You want me to please your feeling. But my calling is greater. I love God right there. He says, we have therefore opportunity. Let us do good unto the all men, especially. Now see, he told you to all men, but especially. Oh, Lord, how much. I know a lot of y'all going to hell out of him because y'all ain't going to do it to the household of faith. But he said, especially. He said, now, he said, do good to all men, but especially. Y'all hear that? So y'all know right now, Cornerstone, we mess up. He said, especially the household of faith, especially the church. And we got some stuff in here. I know most of y'all stand up. I know some of y'all sitting down. But y'all got some stuff that's on the inside that y'all don't want to get rid of. You know, and yeah, you make everybody else look wrong, but when people start really looking at you, you the one wrong. Everybody in my business, everybody want to know my business and stuff like that, but then the person that should know your business, you don't even want to tell them. So that means you got an issue now. Huh? My dad always told me, son, don't never turn the hand on the hand that feeds you. You know, some people don't bend down for people, and then as soon as soon they get lit, lit up on themselves, they think they're all right, they turn their back on them. I'm used to it, because every time somebody leave the church, they stab me in the neck. I've been stabbed so much, now it's getting to be, ain't nothing. Go on and stab me. Go on and stab me. Go on and stab me. I ain't changed. Because whatsoever man saw it, that's what he reap. If I go back at you, I'm going to get what I read. I'm going to get what I sow. So I ain't going to sow it. I'm going to let you ride that road by yourself. I ain't getting on there with you. I just ain't going to do it. That's what God said. He said, and then when you die, like I said, you're going to run from death and want to get, you know, get out of it. Cornerstone, I'm talking to y'all. I'm talking to all y'all that's sitting in here still in sin. Ain't did nothing that the word don't say. Got your own mind and separated from the church. You don't even talk to your leadership. You talk to somebody that you think is godly because you want to keep your business to yourself. I, I ain't talking about you, but you know, if that's the case, you ought to find you another church. You know, if you can't share, you, you know, you think we're going to be in your business. Well, if it didn't, why did you join the church? But you know, then what we do, it's a, 
you get ready to die, you die. It said, asking God to save you after you die. It's like asking for a parachute when you're already on jump. Here y'all are going to try to die almost on your deathbed. And then they're talking about, Lord, God, come into my life. You dead. They already told you you got two days to live. You come into my life, God, before I die. Faith without works is dead. Show me your faith, I'll show you my work. So you, faith and work go together. It don't be one-sided. It said faith without work. Paul said that. People trying to, and the works ain't worldly work. It's working for God. That you faint not in well-doing. I'm working for the Lord. I'm battling for the Lord. People hating on me because I'm suffering for his name's sake. They ain't hating on me because I'm just good looking. I got a lot of money. They hating on me because I am anointed. It said asking God to save you after you die is like asking for a parachute when you, when you already don't jump. Ask him, I need a parachute. Uh, I need God to help me right here. And, and then God come back in Revelation 22. I, I'm talking to Cornerstone. I'm, I'm telling you this way you're going to be. He said in, in, in Revelation 22 and 10, he said, And he said unto me, uh, Apostle Simon, he said, Seal not the prophet of this book, for the time is at hand, because John the Revelator couldn't say this. So that's why I'm saying it's me now, because John can't say it. I'm the one preaching this now. Let me get that revelation to them. He said, he said unto me, John can't say it. I can't say it. He said unto me. He said unto me because I got the revelation. He said, seal not the saying of the prophets of this book. He said, for the time is at hand. He that is unjust, he that is unjust, he that is unjust, let him be unjust here. You can't change Apostle Simmer. You can't change the Cornerstone. I can't change y'all. I've been preaching to y'all. I've been telling y'all what the prophets say. But you're still unjust. Because why? You like to be unjust. But he said, let them be unjust still. He said, let them stay right where they are, Apostle Simmer. Preach to them that, that want to be just. He said, preach to them that want to live right. Preach to them that want to be spiritual. Cornerstone. You, we talking about membership now. But the cornerstone that is the corner to stand for God. I'm talking to y'all. Be just. This is what he said. He said, this is what he said. He said, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He that is filter, let him be filtered still. He that want to stay in sin, let him be filtered still. Don't worry about him. Let him stay like that. I'm talking to Cornerstone. Keep on doing what you're doing. God told me to let you be filtered still. Let you be unjust still. Because you don't want to be a just man and let God order your step by his word. He said the steps of a good man. Hold up, God. You... If he's telling you to go back, you let him order your steps. See, y'all just want to go forward and, and whatever the world tells you to. But you got to let God order your steps because sometimes he's going to tell you, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. See, if you don't know his voice, you'll keep on walking. Just hear that on time. That's why God gives you a leader that can see for you. All that hear me, he said, the, the sheep know the shepherd voice, and they will not heed to another. So evidently, when you heed to something else, you want my sheep. That would have said, cornerstone. He's talking to her. I love him right there. He said, look, look how he said, now. he said, and he that which is filtered, let him be filtered still. He that is righteous, let him be righteous still. He's talking to me now. He that is holy. In any situation I go in, any church I go into, his word is still right. It don't change because some, not, some preacher that got 50,000, 60,000 members, they saying this lie, and you believe the lie, and you already see the church look like a club. You want to hear something. That appeals to you. That makes you think that you could be in sin and still gonna go to heaven. But the Bible says the wages of sin is death. And everybody's name is not in the book of life, it's going to hell. It says it that. And you ain't on hell, ain't the only place you got to worry about. You got to go to the lake. 
Cornerstone, be not the seed. God is not more. For whatsoever man soweth, that shall he reap. And I looked at the word more. It said to laugh at something. God ain't more. He ain't gonna let you laugh at it. He said, I'll laugh at your calamity. I know I put a pastor sim up. I'm going to laugh at all y'all calamity. I'm going to laugh at the family calamity. I'm going to laugh at the preacher calamity. I'm going to laugh at all the members that done walked away from me. I'm going to laugh at that calamity. Thank you, God. That what Mark said, to laugh at something. Often by copying them in their family, but unkind way. But to Mark is to make fun or mimic someone with contempt. You want to mimic and make fun of it. But I'm going to tell you like this. One sin kept Eve and Adam out to, out to God. One leap would sink a ship. One sin would have swallowed a sinner. You ain't got to sin a whole lot. One sin. Like that three minute pleasure y'all begin. And when you get through, you go to sleep on it. Or both of y'all go to sleep. Are you trying to please a female or your wife or her and you ain't pleasing God? That's a leak. Like that song said, there's a leak in this old building. You better move. You got to move. You better move. You better move. That's why God said in 2 Timothy 3 and 5, he said, having a form of godly. You come in the church, you clap, but you deny the power of God. You deny the power that you see in God. You deny the power that's in God's word. He's telling you, you all, you all messed up. Look, I like keep doing. I like doing the act of making something happen through your own act of doing. It's you. God ain't no way in it. Oh, my God. This is what he said. He said, he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. The 12th verse of Revelation 22 and 12 said, and behold, he said, look, I come quickly and my reward is with me to give the every man according as his work shall be. As his work shall be. As his work shall be. You hear what God says in red? As his work shall be. It ain't just faith. It's as your work shall be. You got the work. And that's in red. That's Jesus. He said, and I, let me tell y'all, I ain't get this message for nobody because I told Mission Monday or Tuesday, God already gave me the word. I told him what the word was. Then. So I don't know like nobody. I got this message for nobody. I already had it. I asked God, why do you want me to preach it? He said, don't play with me, Pastor Simmons. You know why. He said, look at, look at it said. He said, and behold, he said, look, I come quickly. And my reward is with me to give to every man according as his work has be, shall be. What's up? What you, what are you going to see about your work? And I said, bad to have overtime with your job and ain't got no overtime with God. Huh? If I'm going to work for anybody, huh? If I'm going to work for anybody, Lord, I know you'll supply my, my, my food. I know that. I know that. I already know that. I already know that. I like, I like a Tamla Man song, Change Me. She says, change me fully. Take out everything that, 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 that ain't like it so I can worship you. So you know some of y'all can't worship. I'm going to tell y'all like this too. My daddy said the cat got y'all tongue. The cat got some of y'all feet too. See, because some people can stand up on the word. A lot of y'all got to sit down. I ain't talking to the one holding them churn. But I get the, 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 the somebody got y'all feet. Who holding y'all down to y'all seat? That y'all can't stand up for the word. Who holding y'all? Who holding you? Let me go. Tell that just let me go. Yeah, who got you? Huh? Who got you? Now my daddy said a cat got your tongue, but I don't want y'all to talk right now. They, I, I'm gonna talk about who got you that you can't stand up for the unadulterated gospel, the word of God. Huh? You what you're sowing to? Huh? Flesh won't let you stand up. I'm trying to kick that joke in the face. I, I, I don't like him at all. He said, look at him. He said, I'm Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. But listen to the, third, listen to the 14th verse. It's a, it's a revelation there for you. He said, blessed are they that do his commandments. 
All y'all that living in your flesh, yeah, he ain't said do some of them. That got an S on it. All y'all flesh of the people that living by y'all flesh, got your time for everything else, ain't got no time for God. Then lying, talking about you always busy. I got something to go, I got something to do, I got this, that, no. No, nigga, you just want to do what you do. Don't lie. You ain't got to lie. It's your own. It's your own. You old enough. That's what he told him about the blind man. They asked his parents, said, well, tell me this. Tell me this. Is this your child or a blind? She said, look, before you pull it out the synagogue, he old enough to speak for himself. Y'all old enough to speak for y'all self. He said, blessed are they that do his commandment, that they may have a right to the tree of life. You can't have a commandment doing some of them. Now what you gonna say about that? Get them to change that scripture. Google that. YouTube that. Do it. Go on the TV and see what Joseph Prince said about that. You know what I just heard Joseph Prince say? You ain't got to have faith. You just got to believe. Know why? He playing with words, and the people that's there ain't spiritual. They fleshless, so they are like that because it's saying, I believe. It's more than believe. It said the book is left open so that all can read and understand. He left the book open. Boy, I love him right there. He said that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter in. I pray we'll all be ready. I pray we'll all be ready. I pray we'll all be ready for his return. I pray we'll all be ready. That we don't be playing church. We play too much. We play too much with a God that's not to be played with. We play too much. And the scripture said that you may enter in through the gate. But you can't enter through the gate changing God's word. And trying to get in some other kind of way. He said if anybody else come through another door, they're a thief and a robber. He didn't say they're just a robber or they're a thief. He said they're a thief and a robber. They hold him up and got a gun. They ain't just stealing. My calling is greater than my personal feeling. You can't get this off uh, TVN. This not on TVN. This 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 this, this the unadulterated that come down through the conduit to Apostle Simon. First Samuel uh, fifteen and twenty two. And Samuel said, "Have the Lord as great delight." And burn off, and God don't want no more burning off. God don't want you to give him no five dollars, try to buy your way in. He said, and sacrifice. He don't want you to sacrifice no pigeon or no goat. He told me, well, I went to church Wednesday. I went to church Tuesday. That ain't what he want. That ain't what he want. He told us, forsake not to simmer ourselves. When the doors open, you ought to open them. You ought to walk through the gate. You ought to walk through the gate. You ought to have make sure you punch your time card. You know, you walk in the church on every server, you punch in your time card. God got his already record. Cornerstone, keep on doing what you're doing. Be not deceived. God is not marked. For whatsoever man saw it, it they, it, they gonna reap. And everybody on left him, they gonna reap a harvest. And it ain't spiritual. It ain't spiritual. Look what he said. He said, have the Lord in great delight and burn off and sacrifice as it, in obeying the voice of the Lord. Uh oh, who been talking to you? He said, I give you a path out of my own heart that feeds you with knowledge and understanding. You mean to tell me you don't got all the knowledge and understanding and now you don't understand? What stopped your understanding? What got in the way of your understanding? He said, your, your light, once you was in light, and the world darkened you, they alienated your darkness, they darkened you because you start seeing other things, or you start listening to other things. I need a word from the Lord, I need a word from the Lord. God said, you already don't got enough. Didn't I preach that to you? Yeah. 
He said, obeying the voice of the Lord. He said, behold. He said, to obey is better than sacrifice. You better obey God's word than obey your mama. Right. Right. Or your sister or your brother. Or your girlfriend or your wife. I tell you what, Trina can stay home. I'm getting up out of there. Girl, I'll see you when I get back. Look here. You already got a Bible. I'm up out of here. You know the word just like me. I'll see you when I get back. You know, we all right, but I'm up out of here. You know, you don't want to go to church. I'm gone, baby. You don't love God no more. I'm gone, baby. It ain't be a little too long. Be gone for her. I ain't trying to persuade nobody. I'm talking about how much I love God. He was a perfect sacrifice. He, he, he you know, it, I'm going to tell you. He said, having a form of God, but denying the power of God for such, turn away. They, one time they were going with you real good. They turn away. Every time they see truth, they turn away from it. But a favor? Man, you know God is good. God just always, you know, he just always got it. They ain't doing truth. When you get in sin and your flesh, you don't want to be around truth. Amen. You ease in the house. You don't want nobody to hear you coming in. Because truth waiting on you. We try to get in church. When church, everybody sitting down. So you don't have to get close to nobody. I be seeing y'all tiptoeing in church. Before the ninth hour. You don't want to greet nobody. I ain't through with you yet, though. I ain't through with you last. He said, behold. He said, look. To obey is better than sacrifice. To hearken than the fat of ram. You can't give me that. Rebellion. Rebellion. When you rebel God's word. I, had, I know you said, I ain't rebel God's word. Every time you hear you don't do it, that's rebellion. Every time you hear a word, that's rebellion. And that's why I said we got witches riding around in the church and they ain't on no broom. Read the scripture. Y'all look at it with me because you know y'all will switch it up on me. Y'all go with me. That's the 23 verse, so I want y'all to misread on another passage. That's 15 and 23. It's a rebellion. It's the sin of witchcraft. Don't act like y'all don't see it. The footnote said, rebellion and stubbornness are the serious sin. They involve far more than being independent and strong-minded. Y'all see? The scripture equate them with witchcraft and idol worship, sin worthy of death. Rebellion. Every time y'all hear me preach and I give you the truth and you rebel, you're a witch. And the church ain't saying nothing. I ain't expect them to say nothing. He said, stubborn is iniquity and idolatry. He said, because thou have rejected the word of the Lord. See, they rejected Samuel's word. Just like y'all reject my word. He said, for that call, God reject y'all. And I know you ain't rejected like you, just like your mama, Eve, Adam. Eve and Adam. Just like Eve, your mama. She said, she's the mother of all children. So I'm talking about your mama. Eve messes up. Because still as she stayed with God's word, she went to looking at another tree. Should have been looking at Adam. Because thou had rejected the word of the Lord, he had rejected thee from being king. Saul pleaded for forgiveness. And Saul said unto Samuel, I have sinned, for I have transgressed the commandment of the Lord. And thy word, because I feared the people and obeyed their voice. I obeyed my voice, my mama voice. I obeyed my sister and brother voice. I obeyed another preacher that I know wasn't right. I obeyed somebody. Here you was Googling stuff and looking at stuff on TV. You don't know that's an atheist or what wrote that. You don't know who wrote it. But I believe it. You can't faith in anything when you ain't saved. Because you were sown to your flesh. You were sowing to your flesh. Coming to church, sowing to your flesh. And my wife said, look, if you got an issue, get your issue right. And we left right out here with issue. I'm glad I'm saved. I don't care what nobody said. 
Everybody else can switch up and they can preach another gospel. And y'all in here, y'all in here, pastor, y'all was in here. Pastor said, if anybody, even an angel, preach another gospel, they are a curse. They said it three or four times. You are a curse. When you change God's word, he said, you are a curse. And I just told you in Revelation, it said, if you add or take away the end of scripture, I take your name out the book of life. So that's what he said. He said, because I fear the people. The 26 verse said, and Samuel said unto Saul, I will not return with thee. Don't come trying to get me to go with you. I ain't praying with you. I ain't going with you. Cornerstone, I ain't praying for y'all that flesh of the people. I ain't doing it. Going on with your little nasty self. Do what you must do. He said, all of us must one day give account for our action. Y'all hear that? It said, rebellion against God is perhaps the most serious sin of all. Because as long as a person rebel, he or she closed the door to forgiveness and restoring with God. You closed the door with your little nasty self. You think you heard me. I'm trying to tell you, sin going to separate you from God and it's going to keep you from God. And your flesh going to draw you away from God that you're going to be lost. You ain't going to be able to get back. I heard him, one guy to tell me he got out the car and he was telling how he got back in the world. He said he walked into the woods. He parked the car and walked into the woods. He walked into the woods. He walked into the woods. He kept walking to the woods. He kept walking to the woods. He kept walking to the woods. Wood. At the time when he got ready to go back to the car, he didn't know where his car was. That what sin do. It gets you so far out there that when you want to come back to God, you might not even know the way back. And that's why God is trying to tell her now, get away from sin. Get away from your flesh. That's why he keeps telling her. He's trying to tell her, I'm trying to get y'all to be a remnant people to make it in. Yeah, you're going to walk different. Yeah, you're going to talk different. Yeah, your church is different. And what we doing, don't nobody do it. Don't nobody want to have prayer at 5 o'clock in the morning. Y'all may, somebody tell me, send me one people that didn't know how to pray at 5 o'clock in the morning. Send me one church that fasts on Wednesday and Friday. They don't fast no more. And these things come out fasting and praying. Everybody that ain't fasting and praying can't get nothing. That's what I'm talking about, God. He said, Cornerstone, keep on doing what you're doing. But be not to see. God is not more. For whatsoever man sow, that shall he reap. And Samuel said unto Saul, I will not return with thee. For thou hast rejected the word of the Lord. What I'm going to hang with you for? What y'all, what, God told y'all to take a stand. What y'all hang with somebody that rejected God's word for? I'm talking to Cornerstone. What y'all hanging with anybody that don't reject the word of God in him? What you hanging with him for? Huh? He said, take a stand. If they don't walk away from God, they ain't with God, they ain't with what you, what you know is right, you are not to be with them. You don't, put, you don't put dirty towels in with clean. You separate them. Cornerstone, we separate them. We will not be like the rest. I don't care what nobody say. God told us to be different. God told us to be holy. My calling is greater than my personal feeling. And Samuel said unto Saul, I will not return with thee, for thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, and the Lord had rejected you from being king, and I ain't hanging out with you. Take your little nasty self on, go on where you're going. This is what it said in Isaiah 59, warning against sin. He said, behold, the Lord's hand is not sharp, that it can't steal down and reach out and snatch you out the fire. That he can't still say you. He still can say you. That's why he bring a word. Why y'all think we get a word like we get? God trying to get us out. Make sure we clean. That's why, that why we ain't got to make them no service. And my wife can call them people out and minister to them. Ain't nobody got to know. That's what God had planned for Sunday school in the morning. We ain't caught in tradition where we got to have Sunday school. This cornerstone, Abundant Life Church. Man told me yesterday, he said, man, a man go by sight. He said, everywhere I see y'all, them shirts, the billboard, the corner. He said, all these churches in there, they getting mullet dealers out and clothes. But y'all trying to do what God said. He said, I see y'all everywhere. And everybody I see in them shirts are pleasant. Yeah. Yeah. But we don't understand, you know, it, you know, we ain't got that many members. And, and everybody think we do the same thing. So what we do don't seem like it's powerful. It's powerful, y'all. 
It's powerful. It's powerful. I'm just telling y'all, it's powerful. I don't, I don't know what you want to say. Anytime you get young children to be up at 5 o'clock in the morning for prayer, and I ain't talking about half sleep laying on no table. They are now with the, with the men like they men. We're making soldiers. I'm making disciples. I ain't got time to make no punks. I ain't got time to make no sisters in the church and let everybody be all weak and weak and sissified and dice with boots on and all that. We ain't having that in there. You dress, you're a woman dressed like one. If you're a man, be one. You got no time for your hand to be kicked up like that. You got to be ready to put them dukes up. You got to come hey, don't hit me too hard. No, come on with it. Come on with it. We are contending for the faith. You got time to be arguing with people that you know ain't saved, and then you sit there and kiss them, talking about, well, you go to church, I go to church too, but you ain't saved. It's a difference. Let me through. God kind of working with me. He working with how he wants to. It's bad to be a powerless saint. You just in the church, everybody, everything gets you. Somebody talk to you, heart, you crying. Power. What you say? That's what I be saying. I ain't no power saying, what you say? I told a man in McDonald's, I don't mind telling. He kept running him out and said, look, I ain't your typical preacher. I come out of that coat, man, don't, don't do that. He, he, he running him out and said, look, man, look. I'm not your typical preacher, man. Look, I ain't gonna let you hurt me. He wanted to try to see what, what, how, what the water, how to cold. He knocked my food out of my hand. Y'all fill in the blank. <laughs> and to tell you, I know it was a spirit because I hit him so hard that he walked back in the store and said, hey, y'all seen my jacket? <laughs> Them spirits will leave you. It just take... Power, Lord! Power! Power, Lord! The only thing I want to hear one of y'all too. He said, Behold, the Lord hand and not to show that he cannot save, neither his ear to heaven, that he cannot hear. But your iniquity, your flesh, has separated you from your God. Can't nobody separate you from your God talking about, well, she made me do it, he made me do it. No, your sin, your iniquity, has separated you from you and your God. Let me give y'all, can I give y'all something to put with that? Number 32 and 23, I know y'all know about her. He said, but if you will not do so, if you will not do so, he said, behold, you have sinned against the Lord, and be sure your sin will find y'all. That's what I tell all of them, going back to the world, be sure your sin will find y'all. And every one of them that went back to the world, that I'm sure they sinned and found them out. Ain't you said, Pastor, you got to be sure. That's why I'm standing over him. I don't care if the enemy wound me. He can almost cut one leg off. Cut an arm off. I'm still fighting. I'm still fighting. Cut the other leg off. I'm going to crawl to him. I'm just a fighter. I'm a contender for the faith. It don't matter how you wound me, devil. I'm still going to fight. I'm going to stand on the solid rock, the word of God, on the foundation of God. It don't matter. Shoot me right here. It don't matter. I'll just take a little step back, and I'm coming back. But let me talk to y'all flesh of the people. But if you will not do so, if you will not do what the word said, he said, behold, you have sinned against the Lord, and be sure your sin." Depending on God's mercy and grace for you and Aaron. After God don't send the perfect sacrifice. And now you want to get a pass to sin. A pass to do some of God's word. Cornerstone, we not doing that in here. Come up to all the commandments of God. And you can't pay your way in. Y'all hear God, he talking, look at him, he said, he said, but your iniquity has separated you between you and your God, your God, and your sin has hid it faith from you, that he will not hear you, for your hand are defiled with blood, your finger with iniquity, your lip has spoken lie, your tongue has murmured perversely. Y'all see that? God trying to tell us something, and we don't want to hear, not call for justice, not any plea for truth. They trust in vanity, huh? And speak lies. They were conceived mischievous and bring forth yours. 
That's what the flesh do. Flesh. It get what it want, y'all. That's why God told her, stand your ground, Apostle Simba. I don't care what church I go to now, if God tell me to say it, I ain't friends to none of them anyway. Family member, stand your ground if you want to go to hell. I ain't going with you. Stand your ground. I'm standing on God's word. All y'all in here that want to go to hell, stay from around me. Got time for you bringing all them spirits around me, dropping them spirits off of me, and I'm thinking that you coming to be around me. He said, but if my people, as I close, that's cornerstone scripture. That's cornerstone scripture, 7 and 14. Y'all know I said it all scripture, and everybody's trying to talk. I'm trying to get this house right. He said, if my people, which are called by my name, if I call you, he said, any time a man come to God, God must first draw him. So he said, Terry, come here. Sandy, come here. He started telling Shauna, come here. He started calling the army girl. When they come here, God called him. And all the rest of them God don't call, they decided to uh, be missing in action. Or to go AWOL. But this is what God said. He said, but if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves, pray and seek my faith, and turn. Now, no turn from truth. It's a turn from your wicked way. I ain't talking about them joking about turning from truth. You know how some of us do? He said, turn from your wicked way. He said, turn. That means, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he knew. Most of y'all ain't knew. Because you didn't turn. Let me give y'all a little history. A caterpillar going to a cocoon. If he don't turn right, he die. But when he go in the cocoon, he don't know what he's going to come out to be. What kind of butterfly, what color he going to be? Black, orange, yellow, green, whatever. But if he don't turn the right time, he die. Has some of y'all died in y'all cocoon? Because God don't told you to turn, and you ain't die, and you don't die. In other words, you think what the way you doing is a rubber baited mind, or he got you that you will believe a lie now and not the truth? Have he gave you a strong delusion? I'm talking about cornerstone. Some of us sitting right here, we don't believe what I said. We don't believe what the preaching I'm doing. I've been told y'all that. I know you in him. Because you're looking for somebody to grab you by your, what you call them, and make you feel good, to pat you on the butt. Tell you, you don't came a long way. But I'm telling you, you ain't came far enough. You got in the church, but that's where you stopped there. God don't draw no line. He said, come unto me. He ain't got no line. He said, come. Every time I turn around, he said, okay, Terry. You, you, you coming a little closer. He said, keep coming. Yeah. I said, God, I'm not, I ain't closer yet. He said, keep on coming. I said, God, huh? He said, Terry, keep on coming. You ain't no way yet. Keep on. That's why I stayed out here early in the morning. Because I'm trying to get close to God. He said, keep on coming. Come on, Terry. Don't be scared. Keep on coming. And y'all know what? It looked like I be getting close. But he was farther away than I thought he was. He didn't want me to keep on coming. As he moved back, he said, come on, boy. You know, like they did when uh, my man went up to heaven. He kept walking with God. He said, come on. You're almost here. So I wonder, do you have to keep walking with God to get close to me? He said, come on home, Ted. Or do I stop over here and say, I'm ready. But you ain't going no further. He keep telling me to come. And y'all think because I know what I know, y'all think I ain't got to keep coming. But I keep getting up at 2.30 in the morning. I keep leaving the house 2.30 in the morning. My wife said, baby, you're getting early and early going down to the church. I said, I don't know why. He just drawing me up. Once I get up, I get to put clothes on. He said, come on. He started telling y'all to come. And y'all won't come. Because y'all sown to your flesh. Flesh won't let you come. Flesh of people ain't saved won't let you come. I like that post I got in my office. It got all them lines, they going the same way. It says surround yourself with people 
that's going on the same mission that you're getting on. He started telling me, come. Come, Terry. And I'm steady walking. But every time I walk, Jamie, he's further away. But you know what I keep doing? I keep walking. I already don't know where I'm going. I, I just keep walking. He said, Terry, get up. Pray. Terry, get up and read. Terry, go say this. Terry, go say that. I said, God, I, I got it. He said, seek my faith. And turn from the wicked way. He said, then will I hear from heaven and forgive their sin. So that means it's some work. I mean, you got to turn. You can't say, I'm through it, wicked. It ain't turn. He gave us a commandment. He said, turn. And that means don't do a 360 and go back, put your back. He said, put your back to it and keep on getting it. That's why when I, when I got saved, I kept walking. He said, Terry, you got to keep on walking. And as I close, Cornerstone, keep on doing what you're doing. 